Hey, this is Dave from the Adobe Character Animator team, and here's a quick look at some projects that caught our attention recently. Aaron Eversole's latest creations are a couple of news reporter characters sitting in a swamp, and as usual, the art style and animation quality are top notch. Aaron was the artist behind the wizard and witch characters that are packed in free with Character Animator on the home screen. One thing to note about Aaron's characters is how he often does his mouth sets. They are not just the isolated mouths, but often the whole lower part of the head that is swapping out as the character speaks, which allows him to move the cheeks, jaw, chin, and more, which adds a ton of extra dynamics to the characters. Great work. Similar to Aaron's mouth techniques, I love this dog puppet from Mexican animator Luis Castellum, especially how his nose bobs up and down as he talks. It's just a short 30 second example I saw on Facebook, but it immediately grabbed my attention with its quality. Another quick hit, Setin Salan posted this excellent wine glass character on Facebook with wine sloshing around as he moves his head. He posted a screenshot showing how he does it, which is using a clever mix of dangle handles and clipping masks, a very cool technique. I randomly stumbled onto Mike Pencil's animations when they were blowing up on Reddit recently. He's got this family of characters who he puts into different random situations, and it definitely has an off-kilter, Adult Swim or Rick and Morty kind of vibe. He only started this channel two months ago and has already racked up over 330,000 views on his video shorts, so he must be doing something right. Very funny stuff. I don't know about you all, but during the pandemic, my kids have been forced to sit through some absolutely terrible videos trying to teach them certain subjects while virtual learning is in place. I wish they were assigned videos from Teach Wonderful instead, a great new e-learning resource with well-done animated commentary. The website even includes worksheets that go along with some of the lessons to help students practice several of the concepts. Teach Wonderful has also been quite active on the Character Animator subreddit, our Character Animator, continuing to teach by helping other users out with their various issues. Nice work. Speaking of school, Tipping Point Solutions recently animated a Michigan-based school's eagle mascot, McGeezy, to talk to students about proper procedures when coming back for in-person learning. McGeezy helps make the important safety messaging more fun and watchable for the kindergarten through eighth grade students. The cycle layers wings used to wave, point, and make other gestures help add some flexible options to the character and keep things visually interesting. Next up, we have live animated versions of Rick and Morty. This one happened a few years ago, but I just came across the case study they made about it on Behance, where the Brazilian-based studio behind the project, Consolado, posted a ton of great behind-the-scenes info on how they rigged these iconic characters up. They were used to help promote the game Fallout 76 back when it launched, leading to several hilarious improvised moments while live streaming with co-stars Ninja and Logic. An impressive amount of work went into this, making sure the characters stuck to the style of the TV show and allowed for plenty of emotion triggers to be used throughout the broadcast. Combo Panda is a kid's YouTube gaming channel following the misadventures of a hyperactive panda bear playing video games. It's a creation from the makers of the insanely popular channel, Ryan's World. Combo Panda plays through family-friendly video games while narrating through his experiences. The character is funny and expressive and a perfect fit for the target audience. There's also a frequent use of animated intros or short cutaway sequences to break things up. Speaking of gaming, Blue Dude is a YouTube channel featuring a character animator character that is quite busy. He does live streams and plays through various Fallout 4 mods, but what's interesting is that he also does a multi-character animated series as well. It's a testament to the versatility of character animator puppets that they can live everywhere, whether it's live stream content or more traditional pre-recorded animated shorts. Whatever the case, I'm looking forward to seeing what else comes out from this channel in the future. Matthijs Klossner is a teacher in the Netherlands and has been spearheading international character animator contests for several years now. This year's theme was, how would you solve COVID-19? And there were students hailing all the way from Japan to Jordan, contributing their own diverse animated entries. My favorite part about the contest is that every student has an Adobe Spark page chronicling their creative process. And it's fascinating to see how these characters and stories were brought to life all over the world. So congratulations to everyone who participated. Cal Artistry is an architect slash artist living in Singapore who recently helped put together a hybrid live action animation music video, taking a page from our mixing animation and reality tutorial. She did a great job adding her custom characters into the real world and some familiar robot friends even make a cameo at the end. 
it's always nice to see what happens when creative people all over the world put their own spin on some of the techniques we've showcased in our tutorials. A Los Angeles-based artist named Frank Goodwin created this awesome-looking character. He says it's actually a real physical puppet that he took photos of and stitched together in Photoshop. It sounds like he also took some shots of his hands and gloves and added those in as well to give some additional fidelity in the fingers. The end result is a strikingly beautiful puppet. Star Meh is a Star Trek parody project from animator and voice actor Dana Berman, combining character animator, After Effects, Lightweight 3D, and more. There's a lot going on here, including all the animated background elements of flashing buttons and computer screens, and some nice diversity in camera angles to help move things along. It's a solid little short with great characters and voice acting, and our friend Red Monster even makes a quick cameo. Binji and Craig Rewind is a new YouTube channel where the titular two characters talk about the top sports news of the week. It's a great format with lively commentary, and the characters are well voiced and animated. Searching is a new animated series on YouTube that's using Character Animator, and I particularly love some of the scenes that are combining performance capture characters with frame-by-frame -frame animated sequences. It's a unique style I haven't really seen before that I think produces some great results. Our friends at Digital Puppets UK recently posted a video showing a different type of head-turning technique. Instead of using face parallax or the head turner behavior, this puppet uses a grouped slider in the controls panel that is a mix of inputs from the transform and layer picker behaviors. It's a fascinating technique with fluid results. It's definitely worth a look if you're into getting more control out of your head turns. Jason Rugg is a writer, animator, and voice actor who has started posting some funny character animator shorts on his Twitter account. He's been trying some interesting techniques like putting exported 2D characters into Blender to map them to 3D environments. And finally, we won an Emmy. Character Animator won an Emmy as a pioneering system for live performance-based animation using facial recognition at the 71st Annual Technology and Engineering Emmy Awards. And we put together this little acceptance speech. Thank you to the Television Academy for recognizing our work on Adobe Character Animator. I'd love to brag about the killer team surrounding me, but this is our chance to thank the folks who helped us get here. Thank you to those who testified to the Academy on our behalf. Tim Lukey and Brian Maffitt at CBS, Jacob Morgan at Walt Disney Television, Katie Weber at Pixel, Dave Waite at Zookeeper, The Simpsons Animation Team, and Steve Ford at Adobe. I'll take it from here. Ah, that's better. Thank you to everyone at Adobe who believed in Project Animal, including Steve Warner, Scott Belsky, Brian Lampkin, Gavin Miller, and Shantanu Narayan. A million thanks to all the character animator users out there who tell their stories with humor and style. You took our little animation program and squeezed magic out of it. And finally, thank you to our families who deal with us being overly animated all the time. So that's it for this episode. We would love to see what you're making, so please use hashtag character animator when sharing to social media so the team can check it out. And if you have any questions or run into any problems, the best place to get help is the official character animator forums. Thanks as always for watching and have fun.